Supplementary Video Melting Point Determination Use of Melting Point Apparatus In this video, Bibio will show how to load and pack capillary tubes with solids and how to use the melting point apparatus, both analog and digital, for the determination of melting point ranges. Before entering the lab, you will be expected to have looked up the literature values of any substance you will be determining the melting point ranges of, as well as have it written down in your lab notebook. Our substance, benzoic acid, melts between 121 and 123 degrees Celsius. To load the capillary tube, the sample must first be crushed into a fine powder. Place some of the crystals onto a piece of paper and use a beaker to grind them. Alternatively, the compound can be crushed in a mortar with a pestle. Once the powder has been prepared, stamp capillary tubes. Make sure you use the tubes where one end is closed onto the substance. Two or three stamps normally add enough of the substance into the tube. To load the powder into the bottom of the capillary, take a hollow glass tube and drop the capillary down. Make sure the closed end of the capillary tube is pointing down before it is dropped. Two or three drops should be enough to pack the bottom of the tube properly. Ideally, the height of the packed solid in the tube shall be around 2 to 3 millimeters. There are two kinds of melting point apparatus, an analog and a digital device. The digital one has a built-in thermometer and a tube shaker to aid in loading the capillary. If you use the Digimel apparatus, you may not need to use a hollow glass tube to pack your powder. Just place the capillary in the shaker compartment located on the right side of the device. When finished, load your capillary tube with the sealed end pointing down into one of the slots just behind the viewfinder window. Make sure that the tube is completely inserted. Set the start temperature to 15 degrees below the literature melting point value, in our case 106 degrees Celsius and the stop temperature 2 degrees above the literature value, thus 125 degrees Celsius. Set the heating rate or temperature ramp as 2 degrees per minute. This ramp is fine for the measurement of most substances we'll encounter. When testing an unknown sample, it's better to use a ramp of 5 degrees per minute for the first rough melting point determination. For the next trial, you should switch back to a 2 degree per minute ramp. Observe the melting process. You should report the experimental melting point as a range. The lowest number in the range is the temperature when the compound just starts to liquefy. The highest number is the temperature when the compound is completely melted. Discard the used capillary in a specially designated waste jar. Never place capillaries into a broken glass bin. The analog apparatus requires a mercury thermometer. It shall be inserted into the designated holder. Place the capillary in the same fashion as with the Digimelt device and insert the thermometer. Adjust the heating rate. For the compounds with melting points ranging from 80 to 100 degrees Celsius, the level 2 heating ramp will suffice. For compounds which melt between 100 and 200 degrees Celsius, use level 3. If testing an unknown sample, it's better to use level 4 or 5, just for the rough determination. For more precise determination, you may need to use a slower heating rate, in other words, level 2 or 3. As the device ramps the temperature up, take note of what temperature the thermometer reports when the substance begins to melt. This is the lower bound of the melting point range. When the substance has completely melted, take note of the temperature again. This is the higher bound of the melting point range. When done, dispose of the capillaries properly in a specially designated container in the waste holder.